Well, good day. It's Pastor Sandy coming to you with a time of refreshing. And I wanted to talk to you today about be brave. You know, a lot of times we hear that word or we think about being brave and it actually can be a little scary. But I want to encourage you today that what really what being brave means is that when we step out of our comfort zone, when we step out of what's familiar or we step out what we think we should be doing and we step into what God has asked us to do. When we step into God's ability, not our ability. That's what really being brave is, is that we're willing to say, God, I'm gonna step out of the boat and I'm gonna walk into your will and into your way because what I'm saying then is, God, I trust. I know that you'll guide me. You'll direct my steps. You'll protect me. You'll give me wisdom and favor in all that I do. Why? Because we're trusting God. Because you cannot fear. You know, new things and change in the natural automatically causes us to want to fear. Because it's different. It's not what we're used to. It's above and beyond anything we maybe could even think that we could ever do. But that's why we trust God to walk in his ability and not our ability. And why? Because God said, I will lead you. You can overcome anything in God. You know, that's God's heart, is that he wants us to walk in his fullness, that he wants us to walk in all that he has. See, that God said, I'll destroy everything that is meant to harm you, anything that's meant to hold you back. He wants us to step into his ability. Leave the past behind and walk into the more that God has for us. Oh, his future. He's got great hope. He wants to bring joy. He wants us to smile for real. He wants us to walk in that everlasting life that he has for you and for me. Why? So that we can bring hope, we can bring peace, and we can bring joy to others around us. You know, I believe we're in some times that God is repairing relationships first with him and then those around us. You know, that is the most important thing because when this relationship is right, then all these other relationships will line up. But we've got to allow ourselves and believe and know, you know what? Who I am in him, that's enough. I'm defined by what God says, who God says that I am. I don't have to have approval of men. I don't have to have a whole bunch of pat me on the backs. I can just know that what God has said about me is yes and amen. And I'm defined by my father's love and my father's words over me. Knowing who you are in him makes all the difference. See, because then it takes that terrifying to become to, you know what? I can do this because I'm not alone. God's got me. God's got your back. You just got to say, I'm brave in him. You're not alone. It's not in your strength. It's in his strength. Thank God for that. Just believe that he'll put his super on your and my natural. You know, in Joshua 1, 9, it says, this is my command. Be strong and courageous or brave. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So remember, he commands us to be strong in him, to be brave. You know, that's where our strength comes from. It comes from him. Reach out to the one and only who can really give you real strength, true strength, the word of all, the Lord of all creation, the one who put the stars in the sky, who put the breath in our bodies, that's who brings real strength. Allow his truth in your life to cause you to be brave today, to get up, move on, and press into all that God has. I believe that God has some plans for each and every one of you. Some of you have thrown those plans away. Some of you just crossed it all off and said, well, I don't never see how God could do that. No, you and I can't, but let's trust him today. See, he is the way maker. He puts his super on our natural. He'll make a way where there seems to be no way. Move forward into God's strength. Move forward into being brave in him. Because remember, it's his ability, not your and mine. 
you know, sometimes we think, well, I don't have the degrees or I never had training in that or I'm not confident in that or you don't think you're pretty enough or you're strong enough. Put all of that to the side. God said it's his ability. It's him walking with you and me, walking beside us, walking behind us, taking a hold of our hand and saying, I've got you. I called you. I can make a way. So let's choose today. We're going to be brave in him and in his abilities. I'm going to lay down all my doubts, all my fears, all my insecurities. Tell the devil, shut up of what I can't do, what I don't think I can ever do, and say, you know what? In him, all things are possible if we'll just believe. Well, I hope today you got a little encouraged. I felt like today that God wanted to remind us that we can be brave in him. Sure, the enemy would like for you to be fearful or to be afraid about something or things, but don't do it. Don't open that door because fear and faith can't walk together. Your body was not created to handle fear and stress. So today choose to say, I'm brave. I am courageous. God is with me. No matter where I go, he's walking right with you. So today, go ahead, write down some new dreams and visions. Go ahead and take out maybe those ones that you tucked away that you thought it was too late. You'd messed up too bad or it's been too long and you don't see how that could ever come to pass. Go ahead, pull them out, pray over it and see if God don't breathe life on that. Or maybe he'll give you some new dreams, new hopes. Oh, I thank you, God, today, right now, for everybody under the sound of my voice, that you're calling that courageous, that courageous boldness and braveness to come up right now, that they see themselves being brave in you, God, that it's in your ability and not in theirs. I thank you for peace and comfort for those that are just struggling, God, with who they are, who they are in you, God, or maybe what they thought. Everything got turned upside down. Their world got turned all around. And everything they thought seems like it just went crashing to the ground. But today, God said, trust me, and I'm going to breathe a new life. I'm going to breathe resurrection power on your situation and on your behalf. And I've got some new things for you. Trust me today to walk in these new things. Grab a hold of all that I have for you. I thank you, God, today for a hope arising in your people today. Oh, and we thank you for it, Father, that boldness coming upon your people right now on each and every one of us that we choose to believe and to trust you in everything that we do. And we thank you for it, Father. Oh, share this with your family and friends. Sometimes we never know what may be ministered to you but there's something else on there that will minister to somebody else. Share it today. I encourage you. Grab a hold today and just every day get up and say, you know what? I'm brave. I'm courageous because I'm not alone. <coughs> Excuse me. I am not alone in this. And we just thank you for it. Until next time, keep it simple, my sisters, and I bless my brothers.